an initiative that is revolutionizing digital transactions in Singapore. 1.4 million SingPass users have used my info in online transactions. Members no longer have to print out hard copies of their statements. Three days to five minutes, that's what we're talking about. As Singapore enters the digital age, many of our daily transactions are now done online. But the digital push comes with challenges as well. Users get fed up with filling forms online repeatedly. Security breaches also need to be dealt with as the momentum towards going digital gathers pace. The Government Technology Agency of Singapore, or GovTech, has embarked on an initiative to make digital transactions in Singapore more user-centric, seamless and secure. The national digital identity is a single digital identity that residents can use across both government and private sector transactions. The first initiative to be rolled out under the National Digital Identity Platform was MyInfo. This is a service that allows 3.5 million SingPass users to manage their digital profiles and pre-fill forms in digital services transactions. Information is submitted and verified just once and can be retrieved by participating government agencies. MyInfo was rolled out in 2016 to the most commonly used government services. These include HDB for the application of flats, MSF for the application of baby bonus, uh, as well as CPF and IRAS. My info is currently being rolled out to more government services, and there's expected to be 160 government services offering My info by the end of this year. To date, 1.4 million SingPass users have used My info in online transactions. Members often come to request copies of their CPF statements in order to complete their transactions with other organisations. So, uh, we worked with GovTech to put such commonly requested CPF statement information on the MyInfo platform. What this means is that members no longer have to print out hard copies of their statements in order to complete their electronic transactions. We have also integrated our CPF electronic forms on the CPF website with MyInfo platform. They can automatically fill this in into their CPF electronic form with a simple click of the button. In November 2017, MyInfo was extended to the private sector. The move made Singapore one of the first governments in the world that gives citizens the ability to share their data with businesses. More than 100 businesses across various industries have expressed interest to integrate their digital services with MyInfo. OCBC Bank was one of the first private sector players to tap MyInfo under a successful pilot with the banking industry. All the account information gets pre-filled from MyInfo. No documentations are needed, no paper is needed. And then the OCBC's digital Know Your Customer uh, platform kicks in and instantly checks and approves you. Customers used to take about an average of two to three working days to open an account. Now that's crashed to under five minutes. So three days to five minutes, that's what we're talking about. OCBC 360 account digital applications are up three times since we launched this two months back. And 80% of these applications are using MyInfo. With personal data captured digitally and shared, the need for data protection and security has become even more critical. MyInfo is a consent-based data sharing platform. This means that uh, the user has to authenticate himself and consent uh, every time his data is shared. Uh, when the user does this, he also receives a SMS or email notification uh, as a confirmation. And at any time, the user can always come back to the MyInfo portal to check on the past transactions uh, that he has performed. In July 2018, Singapore was hit by the worst cyber attack in its history. Some 1.5 million patients had their personal particulars stolen as part of a sophisticated and targeted hack. The patients included Singapore's Prime Minister, Lee Hsien Loong. The most important thing is to have a very strong password. I'm not very clear about how all this hacking works, but Basically, I guess you must have a very strong alphanumeric caps, upper caps, lower caps, um, there are some symbols kind of passwords to make it strong and kind of long, harder to hack. What I do and I, 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 I actually um, advise my family members is to frequent changing of passwords. Lah. And after that, I think um, the OTP system that the government is introducing right now is also a good thing. Also. 
change passwords regularly, use staff passwords and do not use similar passwords for all accounts. For the people on the go, a new mobile app which offers both convenience and greater security is also in the works. SingPass Mobile aims uh, to make logging in to government services uh, easier and more convenient. Certain concepts such as scanning a QR code to log in and authentication using biometric will actually make for a more seamless experience and also a more secure experience.